Hello all, my name is Abdul Rahman and in this video we are going to learn about variables, strings, tuples and for loops. Let's get started. So I have opened my VS code here and I have created some file known as test.py and now I have built this some variable. First of all we will talk about variables. What are variables? A Python variable is a reserved memory location to store values. So here as you can see here solar system is a variable. Why? Because this is the head of the variable and this is the content of the variable. Mercury whatever I have given is the variable. Okay. I will give here print statement there I will give here solar system. If I save this now I will run this program. As you can see Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, whatever I have given in the variable is showing here. So now what I will do is, in variables also there are some rules you need to follow. <coughs> like you can't start a variable with a number if you want to check you can check here. And I will give here some numbers. As you can see here only showing error. Now let's run this program. And let's see what happens. Dual solar system is showing here. Here some syntax error. So you can't start a variable with a number. And you can't use a variable, you can't use a number as a variable. And if you want to check, we'll see. Let's see here. And I will give here 30 is equal to some some name. Okay. As you can see here, here only showing error. As you can see, then 30 is equal to name, invalid syntax, syntax error. Okay. Why? Because we have used a number as a variable. I will remove this one. Let's see, we'll let's print the statement. As you can see here now, if I run this program, it will show whatever I have given in the variable, it will show here as you can see. And now, what it is, it's a list, right? No, it's not a list. In Python, let's see what happens. If I give here type, and here some bracket, and if I run this program, as you can see here, it's a tuple. What is a tuple? A tuple is a collection of Python objects separated by commas. Okay. As you can see here, we have given here some commas, right? As you can see here, some beside Mercury, Venus, Earth, everywhere I have given commas. That's why it's, it's showing us tuple. Okay. If you want to check which type of variable it is, you can give here type okay you can you should open some brackets then give type then again some brackets and then you need to give the name of the variable and now if i remove this brackets and commas remove this all this one I will give you some bracket. Okay. Now if I run this program, program, mm -hmm. as you can see here, it's showing a string. Now let's talk about string. In the previous video, we have learned about strings, right? Anything enclosed by quotation marks is also denoted as a string. Okay. Anything. It's a. It's a symbol. It's any type of character. Whether it's a sentence also. And it closed by quotation marks is also denoted as a string. Why it's showing string? Because we have removed here some commas, right? And we have given here brackets. And we have given them in the quotation marks. That's why it's showing as strings. Okay. Now we will talk about. Finally, we will talk about loops. In this case, we are going to use for loops. I will remove this statement. Statement.
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज फर लुक ए फर लुक इज यूज फॉर इटरेटिंग ए सीक्वेंस मेनी टाइम्स ओके एज यू कैन सी हेयर सम फॉर यूनिवर्स इन सोलर सिस्टम एंड आई विल गिव यू सम हेयर नहीं फिर फ्रेंड ने As you can see, we are in this program. Let's see what happens. We will do one thing. Here we will give you some commas. And now we will give you a file. As you can see here, whatever I have given in the variable is showing. Okay. What happens this? What happens is, as you can see here, for universe, what this universe does is, it takes whatever in the solar system, it takes in the variable name, the universe, and then if I print this statement, universe shows us whatever we have given in the variable. Okay. And now what I will do is I will remove. You print this. Showing right for universe in solar system. Okay. So thank you for watching my video. We will meet in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.